Hi everybody, this is Nick from Altcoin Science. I want to say thanks for tuning in. Today we are unboxing the brand new Asus B250 Mining Expert motherboard. This is the definitive end all be all of mining boards in 2017. We believe we are one of the first groups in the United States to get this board. Running on the B250 Intel chipset, it is the ideal blend of easy, low cost processors and the most advanced mining capabilities on the market. The B250 chipset will run a wide range of processors via the 1151 processor socket. Any 6th, 7th Gen Core i7, i5, i3, Pentium, or Celeron processor built on the Skylake or Cabby Lake chipset will run it. You can usually check this info on Asus's website, but at the time of this unboxing, Asus hadn't officially listed this board on its website yet. The B250 chipset does require DDR4 memory, and we recommend a 2033 MHz. It's the most compatible with all the processors supported. Okay, now down to the good stuff. The board itself rocks an impressive number of PCI slots, 19 in total, with an interesting layout of power distribution. We'll cover more on that later. But 19 GPUs, wow, that's going to be an interesting looking open air rig. Let's get started with the unboxing. So gently lift the board out. Okay, so not much in terms of box or accessories here. There's a couple of locking SATA cables. Uh, that's about all that comes with this board. Then down below where the board was stored, you're going to find the manual and a driver CD for Windows 10. But we won't be using that as we mine under Linux. It doesn't have the same restriction as a Windows driver for Macs GPUs. Keep in mind at this time, Windows only supports eight AMD GPUs. So even if you mixed AMD and Nvidia, you're only going to get 16 GPUs. You can see here, Asus released a diagram of the GPU support. As you can see, this board is a typical two slot DDR memory layout. Four expansion slots for your SATA, and as the board is designed specifically for mining, a single USB 2.0 header and a single USB 3.0 header. I find it interesting, Asus only gave us fan headers for a CPU and one chassis fan. So any additional fans your rig is going to need, need to either be static on or off or controlled via some other variable controller. For those looking for a variable open air rig controller, we are working with some vendors to source that and we'll have more information on our website and we'll have an unboxing of one of those following this video. On the back here, you'll see a generic PS2 connection and USB ports for keyboard and mouse. USB 3.0 for any bootloader you need and a single HDMI output. There is no DB15. I'm personally a fan of older DB15 analog cables as I use a KVM switch to control all my miners. But we'll just have to figure that one out a little bit later. Okay, power. I told you we'd talk more about it. Let's take a look at this diagram that Asus provided. Depending on how you power your video cards, you might really like this layout. I thought it was kind of cool. And so what Asus did is they broke the PCI slots into three separate sets. Each set requires its own power supply. So power supply A will power the first seven slots. Power supply B will power the next six slots. And power supply C will power the last six slots. Okay, so let's look at the board. The first seven slots here, labeled set A, require power supply A connected here. Now, if you're only mining with seven cards, this is the only power supply you need, but this is probably not the board for you. So we're gonna look at more cards. So these sets here, B and C, require power supply here and here, will power our additional GPU cards. So yes, it does require three power supplies, but here's the thing, to run seven cards, you only need a 1,000 watt power supply. And for the other two, 800 watt power supplies. That's a lot better than buying a single monster power supply. And with some tweaks, a good 750 would power those additional units. Now you're not talking thousands of dollars to buy power supplies anymore. And the power balancing is handled by the motherboard. No need to add any add to PSUs or any of those aftermarket power cables that might cause heating issues. So that's it for this video. Uh, watch our next video when we have this board running in our custom GPU monitor. That's going to be a monster. Thanks so much for tuning in today. 
Please like this video and subscribe to allow us to create more content like this. Our website, altcoinscience.com, should be up in about a week or two, and you can find the link in the comments below, as well as a link directly to this board at newegg.com.